Alright, just like I said, I had very little time to prepare, only 19 years. So, uh, hopefully this comes out as it should. So, uh, actually before I start, the venue's manager has asked me to request that no one stand on the table of chairs for my standing ovation. So, uh, I'm just gonna stay out there. But uh, yeah, for who don't know me, my name is Darren. I've been best friends with uh, Jonathan Jensen for quite some time now. Too long that I, I mean, I want to admit, but uh, it's nearly 20 years, so uh, it's been a good ride, bro. But uh, yeah, today I've been given the honor of being Jensen's best man. Uh, and it's been truly a privilege, and I cannot thank Jensen enough for actually trusting me and giving, giving the speech, so uh, be prepared. Uh, so, I mean, I couldn't imagine it being a difficult decision the first thing to select me, given the grooms that we had to choose from. So, uh, I know he definitely want to, didn't want to choose Kenneth to be the best man because he wouldn't want another Melendez running the show. So, <laughs> but, uh, no, actually. <laughs> Can't yeah, you were even. I know, you had time too. So. But, uh, no, actually, a few weeks ago, Jets and I were talking, and I, uh, I asked him, like, you know, what type of speech should I give in your wedding? You know, should I be serious? Should I be funny or maybe a little bit of both? And um, of course, Jensen's a man of many words, and he said just simply, Yeah, man, just be you. Thanks, man. Appreciate that one. Now, I'm not sure if anyone has written a speech for a wedding before, and it's just not as easy as you would think. Uh, it took me quite some time, uh, many hours, and I had nothing to say good about you, so it's. But, uh, <laughs> No, but as I was preparing the speech, uh, I kept asking myself, you know, how do I accumulate nearly 20 years of brotherhood into a short speech? And truth be, I couldn't. So uh, what I decided to do is give you a quick snippet into some of the best memories, memories we've had over the years. So um, to kick it off, Jensen and I first met in fourth grade, and that is the beginning of any great friendship. Uh, Missed that one up. So uh, as <laughs> And as we get into every great friendship in the fourth grade, we typically find a best friend through some sort of sport, uh, after school activity, or maybe even a lunch. Uh, and quite frankly, that's not how it happened for our friendship. Uh, our friendship actually started uh, by Jensen first moving here from all the way from Virginia, uh, walking up in, I think I was in math class, with our teacher, uh, showing everyone how to do sh this called short. Uh, a short form division, and of course, as a, a future best friend, I had to call him stupid in front of everyone. So that was the first uh, interaction we've ever had. And uh, look at this now, man. 19 years later, I'm the best man speech at your wedding. So I guess that uh, that will play out pretty well. So now our journey has not always been so mean. And just like any great brotherhood, over the years we've had countless fights. Yet we're still closer than we were the day before. Uh, to date, we share some of the greatest memories any two best friends could ever ask for. I definitely want to thank you for that. I know sometimes I can be a pain, but just know, and I know you already do, I'll do it. So, at, so growing up, Jess and I played several sports together, uh, which is where actually most of our bonding really began. Uh, we played football together, where he was the center who snapped the ball, and I was the quarterback who got under had the privilege to touch his party package every play. <laughs> In case I want to tell you, you, told, uh, you chose a winner, so. <laughs> Actually, speaking of, speaking of case, can we get a round of applause for the beautiful bride today? <laughs> so, Keisha, um, or should I call you Mrs. Jensen? Believe it or not, you're a huge piece of one of Jensen and I's greatest members together. Uh, see, you and Jensen may not have attended prom together, even though I tried my hardest to make that one happen. And uh, I guess we can say it turned out for the better, but uh, I'm glad you were, I was able to witness you guys both in your relationship on the bus back from the senior trip together. Um, that's obviously insider, but if you want to know the rest of the story, you guys can ask them about that one. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Molly used to ask her. <laughs> that was the first thing she actually asked her out, too. It was that trip. So, <laughs> no, no. Um, Casey and Jensen, I'm truly really happy for both of you. It's been a joy watching you guys become one. 
I'm extremely blessed to be able to play guys both my family, and I can't wait to see you guys start with one of your own. Uh, thank you for always being there for me, and I truly love the both of you. Keisha, the way you stole Jensen for me was a true work of art. <laughs> one day he was the best brother I could have ever asked for, and the next he was your protector. Can you remember what's that? Let me see. Kind of off the script on that one. Uh, okay, yes. Jensen, where did the time go? From us constantly being competitive and competing in sports to us now just being husbands. <laughs> Maybe you must. I can say this journey has been one like no other. One day we were just two skinny kids enjoying doing our game together, and now we're just two dudes trying to figure out how much beer we can drink without our bellies getting bigger. <laughs> so to uh, end the speech off the right way, everyone please grab a glass. Each one, please put your hand on the flat on the table. The other hand, grab a glass, please. Put, put the other hand. <laughs> All right, Jensen, please put your hand on top of hers. Yeah, enjoy this moment, Jensen, because it's the first and last time you have the upper hand. <laughs> Cheers.